Hey everybody, it's Derek Van Dyke with a quick video demo of WP Optins 2.0. When you first install the plugin, you'll see a menu on the left hand side. When you click on that menu, you'll be taken to this page where you can create your essential pages. Enter your company name and a support link and select the pages that you want to create and then click Create Pages. This will add a menu to the bottom of every page that you create. To create a new page, click Add New Page, and then give your page a name. On the right hand side, select WP Optins Page from the template dropdown. Next, scroll down to the WP Optins Meta Box. Select one of the four squeeze page layouts available, and then scroll down to your page settings. You have full control of the background color, the table color, the table width, the table border, and the bullet points. Let's add a shadow and select the red bullet point. You can also add a warning box that will appear at the top of the page and a video from any popular video source such as YouTube. Next scroll down to the headline settings. Enter your headline text and your subheadline text and then you can select the font family, the font size, the font weight, the text shadow, the line height, and the letter spacing. You can also select the text color by simply picking a different color. Next, scroll down to the opt-in form settings. You'll need the autoresponder code from your favorite autoresponder. Simply copy and paste the HTML code into the box. Now make sure that you don't include the JavaScript snippet. You want the raw HTML version. If you want to see your code, you can expand this text box. Next, you can add a call to action that will appear above the opt-in box. You can also add, enter a privacy statement. Next, enter a call to action that will appear above the opt-in form and a privacy statement that will appear below the opt-in form. Next, select a color and text for your submit button. So let's see what that looks like right now. So within three minutes, we've already created a squeeze page that is ready to take subscribers. But we can make this look a little bit better. Scroll down and we will change the headline settings. Let's make this 86 and we'll make this 48, update, and refresh. Now here's the cool thing. These are Kufon fonts, which means the text was automatically converted into images to create crisp, clear headlines. Now if you want to add an arrow and box, let's go with the yellow box that automatically adds it to your form. Now let's look at another layout. If you go with the two column layout, you want to increase the size by about 200 pixels. You'll also want to add some text and optional bullet points to the editor, which will show up on the left hand side. Since we've widened the layout, the subheadline could be a little bit bigger. Let's go with 64 pixels. And now the subheadline fits. But what if we want to add a drop shadow to our headline? All you have to do is select the size of shadow you want, and it instantly creates a drop down shadow and converts your headlines into images. Now, there are two other features that I want to show you on this page. One, we have JavaScript error checking for your form. And also, remember the pages that we created? 
they're automatically added to the bottom of every page and it automatically adds your copyright notice with the current year. And of course you can change the button color and text anytime you want to. Now the combo layout is similar to the sidebar layout except it adds a second opt-in form to the bottom of the left hand column. Now this is good when you really want to convince your readers to opt in with long form sales copy. Now let's take a look at the full screen layout. Okay, you'll notice that things change here and there's fewer options. In fact, you don't have to change anything except you need to check one of these uh, opt-in form colors. So let's go with white and we'll stick with this. Let's change this to sign up now and we have a preloaded default background for you so all you have to do is update this page and then hit refresh and you instantly have a full screen squeeze page and you still have the links and the copyright notice at the bottom of the page now what if you want to add a video to the basic layout Simply go to YouTube or Viddler or any other service where they have embed code, copy and paste the embed code into the box, and click update. Now you instantly have a video on your page, but you'll probably want to get rid of this text so the video is above the fold. So we simply delete all this text, update, and refresh the page. Now if you want your opt-in form to be above the fold, you can simply just get rid of this headline or make it smaller. Simply modify the text of the subheadline, and now your call to action is visible above the fold. Of course you can also use the sidebar layout, and now the opt-in box is on the right hand side. So as you can see, WP Opt-ins 2.0 is very flexible and very easy to use. You can create amazing squeeze pages in minutes with the ultimate list building plugin for WordPress. But what about your confirmation page and your download page? Well, you can create those too. And I'll show you exactly how. First, create a new page. We'll call this WP Opt-ins Confirmation. And in this box, I'll just add my signature. Okay, and then I'll upload a picture of myself by clicking Add Media, Upload Files, and then select a file from my hard drive. Okay, now we'll just insert that into the page. And I think I'll move it up here, add a line break, and that looks good. Okay, next we'll scroll down to the headline settings. And we'll just enter a simple thank you and check your email right now for the download link. Okay, now we have a basic confirmation page. So when your prospect clicks the link in their email to confirm, they'll be taken to your download page. So let's go make that next. So we'll add a new page. And we'll call this WP Opt-ins Download. So on this page, we'll want to add a graphic. Oh, I already have that there. We'll insert that into the page. And then we'll have a salutation. All right, and below the box, we'll say click here to download. And then we'll link that and the box to the download page. I'll just add something there. Okay, so let's go ahead and add my picture here again. Since we've already uploaded it, it should be right there. And we'll just insert that to the post. Now let's say we want to add some kind of affiliate offer at the bottom of this page. I'll just go ahead and grab a thank you page ad from my hard drive. Here we go, here's one that we can insert into the post. We'll go full size, insert into page. And of course we'd add 
an affiliate link. Okay, so now we have an affiliate banner. So let's publish this. And since this is a download page, you want to make it secret. So we'll edit the download page to something like this. All right, so now people can't find it as easily. The next thing you want to do is go down and add your headline text. Oops, there we go. Okay. And then in the subheadline, we will give them a little hint about the special offer at the bottom of this page. Of course, you can add anything to this page. You can add as much text and information to the editor as you want to. We're just going to keep it simple. We lost the link here. Alrighty. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so here is your download page. But again, you can see how easy it is and how quickly you can create a list building funnel with WP Optins 2.0.